Hello YouTubers, Custom Comments here with another review of my first Sentinel figure, which is the Sentinel Iron Spider. Well, fighting armor, Iron Spider. And, you know, it's more like the Iron Man, or, you know, with the Iron Man suit. This is my first Sentinel figure, like I said, so, but what I have messed with so far only thing lacking for that price of this thing is you sort of wish it could have had more accessories but what it came with is most definitely nice okay it's fine but this thing is so dope i played with it a little bit before i'm doing this before i recorded this review and it's awesome okay so, and before we get into the aesthetics, looking at him, yes, I do have the iron legs on him already. Cause, <clears throat> which I'll take them off and put them back on, show you how it all is done. But let's see what all he comes with, which it are the legs, the iron spider legs. He will come with this web. Let's clear this up. Okay. He will come with this. And you'll take the, you know, it shows you how to take the, his hand off, put it over the peg, then put the hand back on. Okay, and I like how they colored the gold where it won't look separated because his wrist is actually gold. And he comes with this one too. Okay. Alright, he's going to come with, he has three sets of hands, fist hands which are on him now. He comes with the action hands very nicely painted okay that looks good he, and he comes with his web hands okay let's see can I get this a little bit more clear man okay there we go so yeah these are nice and he comes with a base <clears throat> I can't remember what figure I had got a set up just like this. I'm not going to put it together, but this is the base he comes with. Okay, so you'll take one of these out, slide this in there where you can slide the slide it around. Okay. Plus he comes with directions to tell you beware of scratching the paint. Let's slide this back. Okay. And showing you how to assemble the base. Like I said, take that piece out and you will stick this in. Take the clear piece off, stick that in where you can slide it up and down. Pretty neat. Okay, it show you all that. And it show it tell you warning, beware of scratching. So just be careful how you pose the figure. Okay, it does have nice paint so it extra showing all the accessories everything it comes with like i just did okay so enough of that i'll show you the box right quick this is the box it come in very nice velcro open up as you can see very dope very dope image of iron spider okay got this side of the box Looks good. Iron Spider poses of the figure. Dope. Just dope. Top of the box, Iron Spider. Okay, and the other side of the box. So, enough of that. Let's get on with the figure. Alright, like I see it, this thing is so nice, man. And he's got his, it ain't just his lower part, it's die cast. He, I think he's just fully die cast. He is heavy for a six inch figure. Just dope, man. Okay. And I will take the legs off to show you how they go. And they are very articulated. Okay. And I will go in. As you can see, this piece will peg onto his back. Let's just go ahead and take it all off. Take it apart. I can show you. Okay. Sorry about that. Uh, 
All right, so, so this right here, let's bring this up. Clear that up. Clear up, buddy. All right, so this will go into his back here. So you just peg this in, and I really don't think it matters which way it goes. Well, maybe it does, but I think this tip right here. To clear for you, is a tip right here. Let's see if I can show the light on the corner, and that will go to the top. Sorry, it's not picking up too good, but that will go to the top. You just put that on here like that, okay? And then you just start putting the legs in. But I will go with some articulation before I do that. So let's get Iron Spider. Well, let's look at this status of this thing. This is a nice figure. Ordered straight from Hong Kong. Took about three weeks to get here. Came in today. And I said I'm throwing a review up on this thing because I've been waiting on this. I like how the eyes sort of stick out. I think it's dope, man. You see all the detail. The paint is immaculate on this thing. Okay. I love the colors. Okay. You see the blasters. Well, just like the Iron Man. Even though it's Iron Man <laughs> built, this looks better than Iron Man to me. Okay, so we'll move this out the way. All right, let's get a closer look at that face. So I think that's just sick. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so let's get ready to go with some articulation with the Iron Spider. All right, so he can look way damn well you might as well say he flies okay damn he looks up he can look that's between the neck and like i said this is all new and this right here you see this is staying still and this is like rotating i think that's pretty cool okay so engineering man engineering he goes side side he has tilt crazy tilt for expression all right the arms can go up that much you got the drop down method too okay drop it down see so can you go but he can get a t pose okay and you have a bicep swivel which is tight it is a little tight, okay. You have double jointed elbows. All right. Uh, the wrists, hands on a peg, a hinge peg. And the only problem I see, this hand come off a little too easy, but it's no big deal, okay. I can work around that. Okay. You have upper torso movement. And that's all what you get out of the waist and the upper torso. This is a floating piece. Sort of cover the gappage. So he back that much. Let's see. Can he go forward? Pretty good to be an armored figure. All right. Of course, he goes side to side. Just be careful. You don't want to scrape the paint. The waist goes side to side. Okay, he can tilt. Very good. All right. And he has a butterfly front, back. Okay. So the legs, you do have a drop down method. So make sure. You don't want to scrape that paint up against here. So pull them legs down. Pull them down like that. Then take it 
out like that. So you pull it down, take it out like that. All right. So Iron Spider can do the splits. Okay, we'll bring them back down and see how far he goes up. He goes up that much. All right, he has a double jointed knee. All right. He has a, a foot can go. Let's check this foot out. He has a toe hinge, as you see. Let's clear this up. Toe hinge. The foot is on a hinge. Let's see if this moves. I don't think that piece right there moves. I'll do it. So he can go up in a little bit. All right, so that's good. And you got a rocker, ankle rocker. Not bad for the wide stances, okay? So you can kick back a whole lot. And this is with the leg still extended down, okay? And so let's rock that back up, rock that back up. And very smooth, man. So he can still pick up that much, even with the, the legs in. He has a thigh swivel too. So thigh swivel works good. And I think that's gonna be it for the articulation. So for an armored figure, I, this thing is dope. Like I said, this is my first Sentinel figure. And I like it, I like it a lot. Okay, so let's uh get him standing. What a die cast. You can really feel the die cast in this thing. And I do like how they did the webbing here and then it, it stopped. I mean, I'm good either way. And I like that neck up under there. You see if you can see all that uh scope. You can see all the lines of on for his neck, and he stopped it halfway with the webbing and went smooth. Okay, I think it's unique. It's different. I mean, I would have been cool with it either way if they did the webbing all the way through, but I do like this look, man. Okay, so now. Um, let's uh get a height measurement off this guy. From a ruler, he's gonna stand about six and three eighths, six and seven sixteen tall. So yeah. I like how this thing looks, man. Dope. Dope. All right. So now let's see how easy it is to put the webs on. We'll pull this hand off. Let's put one of the webs on. I'll put the, the wide one. We we'll put it here. Okay. So we'll try to go here with it. Then we get one of his web hands. Where are your web hands? Where are you? Here. This can be a little tricky. Uh, it's, it's, I got big hands, so it's sort of real tricky for me. <laughs> you have to be careful with this thing. You do not want to mess it up. Okay, let's see which way the joint is going. So can we get that on here? Uh. All right, I think that's it. So you can twist it. Yeah, and he holds the way up pretty good. Yeah, that works. Okay. 
I think that's neat. <laughs> so he holds the wheel pretty good. All right, let's try to get him in a little pose, spider pose. See how he can get, how he does. So I'm gonna pull this leg down. I wanna be careful, I'm gonna pull it all the way out. Okay. Make him look up at you. Take that hand back. Pull this leg down a little bit. Okay. up pretty good I like that man damn I'll tell you what now let's get the uh let's put his uh his legs in iron legs in right quick Oh yeah, and that's what I want to show you too. So let's just put Spider-Man down. <laughs> this thing has joints all over it. I think it's one, two. You got one, two, three, four, five. One leg has five joints, okay? So let's uh get this in here. Get these in here right quick. Okay, let's go all the way in with it. All right. I'm sorry, my, my damn camera probably needs cleaning, man. God, it won't stay focused. Okay. Sorry about that. I'm all over the place. Okay, let's try to get this one in. Okay. Like I said, you can turn this thing all kind of ways. Alright. So we'll bend this one down some. Oh, shit. Alright, let's get that in there. Let's get this one. And just be careful because you do not want to mess up the paint on this thing. It's just beautiful figure, man. Damn, that's a big way up, man. <laughs> okay. Let's get this one in. And that's it. He has them all in. These things go all over the place. Okay, let's turn this one around a little bit. Okay. And we have the legs in. I'm sorry, it's just. Damn, it takes up a lot of room. Okay. And I did get him in a pose, got the stand and base put together. Didn't want to do all that in front of you guys because I'm not a poser <laughs> like that right in front of the camera. Not this dynamic pose, but the base and stand is most definitely for him. I don't know if a Mayfax called a the base, I love Mayfet stands, but the base has to be big to support all this weight. And you're still going to have to tighten the screws up on the, the stand part. But, yeah, as you can see, we got him in a dynamic pose. And the base 
is really supporting all this weight. <clears throat> so I think that's dope, man. Okay. So most definitely just want to get show you guys about the basin stand and the type of <clears throat> dynamic poses you can get this armored bulky iron spider in. So this is pretty damn dope. Okay. Okay, and now that I got them all standing straight, let's get him. Well, let's do a few size comparisons, okay? Let's see what he stacks up with. Okay, and here he is with a McFallen Dark Father Builder figure. That's how he stacks up with him. Let's just go ahead and throw the big boy in here, too. Please don't knock him over. Okay, good gracious, man. Let's just back this up a little bit. <laughs> okay. Let's, matter of fact, let's just take time. We'll move Dark Father. Let's can we get Big Boy right here. Just a beast. Okay. And here he is with a couple of Mayfex figures. Peter B. Parker and the Amazing Spider-Man. And I have my homecoming and far from home in poses, so I won't get them out. But as you see, that's how he stacks up them. And here he is with a couple of SH Fig Arts, Infinity War Hulk, and Infinity War, damn, Final Battle Edition. Thanos. Okay. And here he is with a couple of Marvel Legends. Gwen Stacy and Peter B. Parker. And that's how he stacks up with them. And here he is with a couple of Mezco figures. Uh, the stealth suit Spider-Man and the one and only Christopher Reeve. 1978 Superman. Okay. And here he is with a couple of more Mayfix. Mayfix Hush Superman and the Mayfix Cyborg from Justice League. And that's how they stack up. I think they, he is a little bulky beside the Mayfix because, I mean, this is armor, this is armor, but he's a whole lot bulkier. Okay. And here he is with a couple of more Mezcos. And yes, the regular version and the PS version. I just thought it looked pretty cool. <laughs> and that's how he stacks up with them. Okay. So yeah, guys, uh final thoughts on this piece is it's different. It's one of a kind and I love it. It's, it's really easy to pose, but the uh, the arms, the gold iron arms, tentacles or whatever, they're a little challenging, but man, this thing is so dope. Love it. First Sentinel figure. Won't be my last. I love the die cast. He just, it's an awesome piece. Okay. A little pricey, but it is an awesome piece okay so, all right well if you guys got any questions or requests make sure to hit me up in them comments and or hit me up on instagram i will be getting ready to load some pictures of this guy on there so most definitely uh check it out all right all right everyone this is custom comments signing out take care god bless and peace